In the 1970s, television commercials were mixed. Some were happy-go-lucky, ads like this one. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. Seven up. We seen the Mikey. Oh, seven up. Here are your sets, Father. The 500 sets you asked for. It's a miracle. <laughs> but other ads were more serious. We're joined by Richard Kirschenbaum, founder of Kirschenbaum Bond and Partners. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? 70s is a good decade for advertising? Absolutely. And I'm a child of the 70s, so I'm totally into this. All right. I want to play a first ad which was sort of universally recognized as maybe one of the great ads ever. Let's take a look. I'd like to buy the world a home and furnish it with love. Grow apple trees and honeybees and snow white turtle doves. I'd like to teach the world to sing. Sing with me. It's the real thing. <laughs> we get all sorts of saying, why right. was this ad so important? Well, first of all, you have to realize it came out in 1971, mm. and the Vietnam War we pulled out in 1973. Mm. So it's it's a global commercial. It was really, in a certain sense, gl a Coke's global message of peace and harmony. Think of the lyrics, right. you know, turtle doves, harmony, peace. Yeah. And so it's so important. And it ran the entire decade. That that also is really quite phenomenal. Absolutely. One of the other things of the 1970s was environmental awareness. Take a look at this. See if you remember this. Some people have a deep, abiding respect for the natural beauty that was once this country. And some people don't. People start pollution. People can stop it. Man. Unbelievable, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. If the, the, the percentage of people in the country who actually recognize the right. ad by the sure. time it was done was like in the 90-some percent. Of course. It's one of the greatest commercials of all time. It really challenged Americans on conspicuous consumption and pollution and even involved, um, you know, race for the first time. Mm -hmm. It was an amazing commercial. Yeah. And the, this is a time when the Cuyahoga River is on fire in Cleveland That's and right. all of a sudden we That's see right. this ad. People say we have to take care of our planet a little bit. One of the other things we were talking about, we're showing pictures of the Bicentennial, right. which is a party America wasn't sure it wanted to have and certainly couldn't afford. Right. Saving money became a big issue in the 70s. Let's take a look at this. And to my other friends and relatives who also never learned the value of a dollar, I leave a dollar. Finally, to my nephew Harold, who oft times said, a penny saved is a penny earned, and who also oft times said, gee, Uncle Max, it sure pays to own a Volkswagen. I leave my entire fortune of $100 billion. That's not too bad. That's, That's not too bad. Commercial. What and and in terms of of style of commercials, yes. would, do people today look back at the seventies as the golden age of advertising? Well, or yeah, well certainly, you know, the nineteen seventies were really about very much mirrored TV. It was about the happy ending. Everything was resolved, you know, in thirty uh, minutes. So mm -hmm. the commercials were about jingles and taglines and characters. And yes, you know, only a ten percent of the commercials, like the ten percent of the TV, mm -hmm. was really somewhat negative or challenging, like right. Mash or All in the Family. Sure, sure, very interesting. I'm going to take a look at one more commercial, which you believe is is a sort of a bridge to the yes. 1980s. Let's take a look. That was evocative. Why? Why was that important? It set the stage. It was the first ultimate luxury commercial. It's really a bridge to the 80s, mm. it's a conspicuous consumption the of the real 80s, me decade. The dynasty. Yeah. Era. All right. Terrific. Richard Kirschenbaum, thank you so a much. Pleasure. Thank really, you. really appreciate it.